So we, we go on. wait. No, you got something. No, no, I got nothing. What was that nothing. finger about? I was like, you go. It's you go. You. Oh, it was a finger of encouragement. You did it. I feel it now. I feel it. <laughs> so the Lego Movie uh, it started out much differently than how it turned out, and and uh, we're going to show you a, a, a lost clip, um, and. Uh, uh, we should probably jump right into it, right? Yes. Well, basically, we started. We our original draft of the screenplay uh, was Emmett was not uh, had a mom who was a, mas a secret master builder. Um, and the idea was he was raised by master builders, and because of their like autocratic society that they lived in, they hid Emmett's abilities and and told him that he was a normal person so that he would be safe. And so one day he built something crazy and then got thrown in jail. So here is that clip, I think. <laughs> oh, I think there's audio here that we're missing. Let's go, let's do it again. Let's back it up and do it again. Let me see. Let's see if something's the matter with us. Could be us. Hold up. Chris Vamp. So anybody know <laughs> any good jokes? <laughs> That's um, it. I can narrate this, uh, maybe. Um, anyway, the point is that uh, it was super different. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me see. Let me just see. Nope, yeah. we got volume, guys. This is this one's on BAFTA. <laughs> <laughs> um, so anyway, so so yeah, so in this clip, uh, 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 Emmett's mom uh, discovers that he's on the television and he's been thrown in jail. Uh oh. There's like a little mouse. <laughs> this is going great, you guys. We don't want the We're mouse. This. It's off the rails. Um, uh, we can just skip ahead. That's fine. Yeah. Um, I think this. The one good thing is that she shows up with a blow dart and nails these two guys <laughs> in the prison. And then Emmett's like, "Mom, I didn't realize you were a master builder." Better dialogue than that. Uh, what are you doing here? We can't break out of prison. We'll get us in big trouble. And then I believe, yeah, then she knocks him out too. <laughs> so anyway. Uh, 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 this is a cool quote by um, this. This is a really nice food writer, and he talks about this thing that we talk about, which is that like like it, like, evo like evolution in nature is sort of like a bunch of random things that happen, and then at the end, when you go back and look, it looks like a miracle of purpose. Like it looks like something like there was intention behind it, um, and uh, and screenwriting is the same thing. You know, you you or at least it is for us. Like, by the way, this doesn't work for everybody. Someone else is going to come. Kenneth Lonergan does not work like this. <laughs> <laughs> that guy has like a stroke of genius and just writes it down in like, in like you know, two days, and it's brilliant. Um, but but the, this is how we work. Yes. I mean, and the, and the point was, in, in the specific case of the Lego movie, um, the story was about Emmett trying to prove himself to his mom, which ultimately didn't have the same kind of elemental emotions that we, we were looking for. And it ran counter to our other goal for the movie, which was to say that anyone and everyone uh, could be creative, not just someone who descended from a great master builder. And so we had to pull out the spine of the movie and rewrite it on the fly. And luckily, we had done this enough times now that it wasn't as painful. And because it was a Lego, it seemed like you could just sort of pull it apart and put it back together again anyway. Um, and ultimately, with the help of many people, um, and, and rewriting and rewriting and rewriting and, and getting great contributions from our entire crew, we were able to put it together in a way that was much more satisfying and much more emotional uh, and ultimately much funnier. <laughs> 